Today's episode is about the SW-420 vibration sensor. In this episode, you will learn how to use a vibration sensor with Arduino and control an LED when a certain predefined value is exceeded. This is an introductory tutorial which covers the vibration sensor pinouts. It's interfacing with the Arduino and basic programming. While in the upcoming tutorials, this vibration sensor will be used in an earthquake notification system using GSM and wireless sensor network using Zigbee or XP. Let's get started. The components that we will need for this project are number one, Arduino. Number two, SW-420 vibration sensor. Number three. An LED light emitting diode, the longer leg is the anode and the shorter leg is the cathode. Number 4. A 330 ohm resistor. Number 5. Some jumper wires and finally number 6. A breadboard. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the SW-420 vibration sensor. As you can see, it has three male headers which are labeled with D0, ground and VCC. Insert the vibration sensor into the Vero board. Now connect D0 pin of the vibration sensor with pin number 9 of the Arduino. Connect the ground pin of the vibration sensor with the ground pin of the Arduino. Connect VCC of the vibration sensor with the Arduino's 5 volt. Insert an LED into the breadboard. Connect a 330 ohm resistor on the inert side of the LED. This is a current limiting resistor. Connect the cathode side of the LED with the Arduino's ground. Connect the inert side of the LED with pin number 13. We are done with the interfacing, now let's discuss the programming. Integer LED is equal to 13 and LED is connected with pin number 13 of the Arduino. Integer VS is equal to 9. The vibration sensor is connected with pin number 9 of the Arduino. As you know my friends, every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions which are the wide setup and wide loop functions. White means that this function is not returning any value and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments is the input. Pin mode is a built-in function and it takes two arguments is the input, the pin number or pin name and the status which can be input or output. But as LED is an output device so that's why we set it to output and set the vibration sensor as input. Serial dot begin 9600 activates the serial communication. 9600 is the baud rate. Then starts a wide loop function. Long measurement is equal to vibration. Measurement is a variable of the type long, while vibration is a user defined function, which we will discuss in a minute. Then there is a delay of 50 milliseconds. Serial dot print in measurement prints the measurement. If measurement greater than 50, then simply turns on the LED, else turns off the LED. This is a user defined function of the type long and this function has a name of vibration. Long measurement is equal to pulse n vs comma high. Wait for the pen to get high and returns measurement. 
For this, we use the pulse and function. If you want to learn in detail about the pulse and function, then simply select the pulse and right click and then select a defined and reference. which explains everything you need to know about the pulse in function. So that's it. First of all, connect Arduino with the laptop. Before you upload the program, first of all, make sure you select the right board and COM port. Then click on the upload button and wait for a while. As you can see, the program has been uploaded. Now open the serial monitor. As you can see, the Arduino is sending a value of zero, which is quite stable and which means that there is no vibration. When I start tapping the board, some vibration is created and when the vibration value is greater than 50, which is defined in the programming is explained, the LED turns on. As you can see, it's working perfectly. Even the breadboard is not moving. But there is a vibration that the sensor can detect. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.